How's it going everyone? South Bay Rebel here and this is a follow-up video to one I made a couple weeks back where I found Star Wars First Order Transporter set 75103 at the local thrift shop. Saw all that gray in that Ziploc and jumped all over it assuming it was Star Wars. Also found the instruction manual in that same run. When I got home I dumped everything out, sorted through it all, and kind of took stock of what was in the bag, hoping that everything was there, I started to piece it back together and see just how complete it really was. And it definitely helps to have the instruction manual already, as much as I love that feature with LEGO where you can go on their website and get any instructions for free, it's still nice to have that tangible paper instructions, just something about it that I prefer. And as I went through it and put it back together, I quickly realized that it was not complete. I didn't expect to have all the minifigures, but there were also some other pieces missing. So I did my best to piece that together with some bulk Lego out of my own collection. But these pieces here, including the minifigures, were some that I just didn't have. And so I sourced them from Bricklink. I also picked up a brand new sticker sheet to give it a fresh new look. But by far the most desirable piece in this set has got to be the Captain Phasma minifigure, which I ended up picking up on the secondary market. Actually got this from Leg Bros store. I'm a big fan of his channel if you are familiar with his content. If not, you should definitely go check it out. But I knew I was buying with confidence because he only sells nice quality minifigures that are in great shape. So it was really nice to do business with him and I just wanted to give him a shout out. I believe he sells on eBay as well as whatnot. If you're looking for some quality figures, you should definitely check him out. After finally getting the missing pieces I needed, I was able to put this together and complete it out, and I'm pretty happy with the finished build. Some of the pieces I used from my bulk Lego were pieces that I had previously picked up at the thrift shop, and so they're a bit dingy, and I'd like to swap them out with some fresher, cleaner looking ones down the line but for now this will do I got it together and I was able to see it in its full glory that included rounding up all the minifigures for this set and a couple of them were actually in that thrift shop haul which were the two first order stormtroopers and one of the flame troopers but not the flame trooper helmet part of what's appealing about this particular set is that it's got a large number of playable features the first being this knob on the side which allows you to raise and lower the gunner position out from underneath that hatch on the top of the build. The actuation was super smooth on that which just made it a lot of fun to mess around with. Next we've got the pilot or drivers area on top next to the hatch which has a opening hatch door of its own. It's clickable so you can have it stay open at multiple different points of articulation and it also has a removable seat for that pilot that you can take out and place your minifigure on and then place back inside. And I did test it out in the standing and sitting positions, either way should fit, so nice playability there as well. But the playable features don't stop there. As you may have noticed, the top of the build also has spring-loaded blaster cannons as well as stud shooters at that gunner position. So lots of playability to be had here. It's a nice looking build, but it also seems pretty sturdy as well. Because it's not only aesthetically pleasing, but is packed with playable features and also sturdy, you can tell LEGO really took their time in setting this up to be a really well-rounded playset. It's also got wheels on the bottom, which I don't see very often, but makes it nice to roll around on a surface. As you can see here, looking at the underside, they're very shallow, but they're there, as well as this pull rod feature, which opens the hatch to the transporter on the other end. If all that wasn't quite enough for you in the playability category, there was one more feature, and it is that that top piece of the transporter does come off, allowing you to access the inside of the transporter from above. There's plenty of seating in there if you wanted to put a bunch of first order minifigures, as well as hooks to place blasters. 
I admittedly had a lot of fun playing with this thing while filming this video, which just made the whole process that much more enjoyable. As I started to incorporate all of the rest of the minifigures into this build, you can really tell that it ties everything together nicely and takes the whole thing to another level. Even though most of them aren't particularly rare, considering the fact that there are seven minifigures in a set of this size is just unheard of, especially when you consider the amount of figures that LEGO tends to include in LEGO Star Wars sets currently. And I don't think I'm alone in that. I think a lot of us would like to see LEGO Star Wars step it up and include more figures in their sets, especially when you see sets that are similarly sized and priced from other genres and brands like Harry Potter, which have three, four, five times the amount of minifigures. Circling back to take a closer look at the figures in this set, despite them not being very rare outside of the Captain Phasma, they're still nice figures, and I think the Resistance Fighters are cool, as well as the Flame Troopers. I really like those helmets on them, and of course Captain Phasma definitely stands out. At the end of the day, this set is packed full of playable features, comes with a bunch of minifigures, looks good on a shelf, and I couldn't really find anything negative to say about it, which is rare. It was an incredible find, and I'm happy to add it to my ever-growing collection, especially since this is one that I didn't have already, but I'm super glad to have picked it up this time around. All total between the initial find at the thrift shop and the missing figs and pieces that I needed to pick up to complete this out, I think I'm in this around 65 bucks, which is pretty awesome considering that new inbox, this set goes for somewhere between $200 and $300 on the secondary market. I'm super happy with how this turned out. If you guys liked this video, hit the like button. And if you wanna see more like it in the future, subscribe so you don't miss out. And until the next time, I will catch you on the flip side.